My name is Crypto NC and the NC is no coiner. And I've got some basic questions about Bitcoin. Get yourself a VPN to protect your online activity. Keep yourself safe and secure online. Use my affiliate link and you'll get a discount. And if anybody's watching this has also got some basic questions about Bitcoin, put them in the comments below because then, then Crypto Rich, he'll answer them maybe in a subsequent video at some point. Make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell so you know when the video comes out and like and comment and a, and a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Come on. Thumbs up. Click that. Click that thumbs up. What was the question again? Say a bit more about the rewards. That was it. Okay, so to run a Bitcoin mining machine, a Bitcoin computer program, the algorithm, right? It takes energy and work. You know, if I were to do it myself, I would need to go and buy one of these um, specialized computer mining hardware machines, specialized computer. I would need to download the algorithm, install it, run it. I would have electricity costs to run the, the, these machines because they're powerful machines. I would also need to keep the machines cool because they heat up and that will take electricity. So there's a considerable investment in running a Bitcoin miner, but I would only do it if there was sufficient reward. So what happens is every 10 minutes, there's a fixed amount of Bitcoins that are shared out between all the miners. Currently, six and a quarter Bitcoins are given as rewards to the miners, the Bitcoin miners, every 10 minutes. So if it's just you and me running two Bitcoin mining machines right now in the world, one, it's not very centralized, but two, the Bitcoins will be split between you and I. But let's say there's now 98 more Bitcoin miners coming along also running the program, well, those six and a quarter Bitcoins are now being shared with a hundred Bitcoin miners as rewards for, for the investment and the work and the energy and the costs of validating the transactions on the Bitcoin network. Because what the miners do is they run an algorithm that keeps updating the Bitcoin network. So it remains current. And also what they do is that they run a computer program that solves a calculation and when they, when a computer, when a miner gets that calculation right, new Bitcoins are born, but only up to the limit of six and a quarter every 10 minutes. Why six and a quarter every 10 minutes? Who decided that? Well, Satoshi decided that, and it didn't used to be six and a quarter. It used to be 12 and a half. And prior to that, it was 25. Every four years, the Bitcoin mining reward halves. So the first halving was in 2012. When the numbers of Bitcoin being born every 10 minutes or being rewarded to the miners went from 50 Bitcoin to 25 Bitcoin. Then the next halving was 2016, when the number of Bitcoins being mined went from 25 every 10 minutes to 12 and a half every 10 minutes. And then the subsequent halving was in 2020. And then there'll be another halving in 2024 when it'll halve again, and then another one in 2028, and so on till I think about 2140, because it'll keep halving, keeps halving, keeps halving. And eventually in 2140, all the Bitcoins that are ever, ever going to be mined or given out as rewards, that'll be it. And there will be no more than 21 million Bitcoins in existence. Well, because it's a computer code, couldn't someone just come along and change? the code, you know, so like tweak it a little bit and get them, get themselves more Bitcoins. Well, theoretically they could, but practically it's not possible. Remember what I said earlier about how each transaction is validated by all the other miners. In order to change the Bitcoin code, in order to release more Bitcoins as a mining reward, you would need 51% of, of the miners to agree to that. Now, if 51% of the miners were to agree to that, it would reduce the value of the Bitcoins that have already been produced. So they're unlikely to do so. Now, you could have a, so you'd have to go around chatting to them all and saying, hey, listen, come on, how about this, right? Just take too much work. You'd be better off putting all that time and money and energy and effort into running a Bitcoin miner. Now, the other way is you could do a hostile attack that you get so much computing power together, so many Bitcoin miners together, that you're able to hijack the Bitcoin blockchain and have 51% of the computing power yourself and then make the adjustments. There isn't the computing power in the world for anyone to do that. It just ain't worth it. It costs far too much money. That's why Bitcoin is censorship resistant. 
because anybody can get involved and start running it. And because it's so decentralized, there isn't a particular point of control. Like, for example, if the servers of a particular bank went down, that bank would shut off. It couldn't move money around through its computer system because it's only in these locations. But with Bitcoin, it's all over the place. Yeah, but what about what about when the internet goes down or they switch the internet off, right? Then you then the Bitcoin miners, they can't do their work and there'll be no Bitcoin. And it'll, it'll be rubbish. It'll go to zero. Theoretically, that could happen. But you know something? Yes, theoretically, that could happen. But you want to know something? If the internet goes down, I will have more immediate concerns than where my Bitcoin are and where the Bitcoin blockchain is working. You will have more immediate concerns than the status of the Bitcoin blockchain. Well, like what? Traffic lights won't work. Electricity won't work. Who's the computer programs that run the water pumps, pumps that bring water to your house through your tap, they're not going to be working. There's going to be no communications anywhere. Everything that we associate with modern life will break down. The food supply chain, the petrol supply chain, that's what will happen if the internet shuts down. Everything will stop working. And I don't really care then about Bitcoin. I want to know where am I going to get some water and food and keep my family safe? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good point. You, you, you're clever. You know, you know, you know, you know a bit about this Bitcoin stuff, don't you? I got more questions. I got loads of questions, right? But I think that's enough for now. If I wanted to find out more, how could I find out more? Well, of course, you could subscribe to my channel. I've been running my channel since April 2017. I've been in the Bitcoin space a little bit longer than that. You should do that and click the notification bell so you know when the next video comes up. And if you have any comments or questions, put them in the description below. The other thing you could do is I'm going to point you to a couple of resources. You could ask DuckDuckGo. Don't ask Google. Ask DuckDuckGo. Why should I ask DuckDuckGo and not Google? DuckDuckGo doesn't keep record of your searches or anything in the way that Google does. It doesn't track your data. It preserves your privacy. So go to DuckDuckGo. Now, this is a really great, easy to use website that caters to, for different levels of exp expertise, beginner, advanced and expert, explaining the blockchain, everything. It's got a whole lot more information than I've covered in this video. And it also has this section, explain it like I'm five. Now, I'll link to this in the description below so people can go check it out. And in subsequent videos, we can cover other stuff that you'd like to know about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. What would that be? I'd like to know, how can I get Bitcoin? Should I get Bitcoin? What's meant by you know, all these other ones like Ethereum and, and Monero and, and what, where do I keep it? Because I can't keep digital money in my pocket. It'll fall out. Even though I want to get rich with crypto profits, just like what you want to do and, uh, you know, empowering other people to do what are watching your videos. You know, how do I keep it? How do I get some? How do I cash out? How do I? How do I? How do I? That's what I want to know. Right, I promise you, we'll be sure to cover all that stuff in subsequent videos. Thank you so much for being with me. Really, really appreciate it. Yeah, me too. Much appreciated, man. Thanks. Thanks. If anybody's watching, comments, questions, put them in the description below. Anything else you'd like to know, you'd like me to cover in subsequent videos my, with, with crypto, myself, Crypto Rich, and my partner, Crypto No Coiner. Please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto No Coiner and Crypto Rich signing out. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Get yourself a good quality hardware wallet. I recommend the Ellipow wallet. Discount with the link in the description below.